It's the highlight of the year for Vancouver's gay and lesbian community. The Pride Parade, a time for silliness and celebration. But also, this year, a time to make a little bit of history. Vancouver's new police chief, Bruce Chambers, has barely been on the job a week. This is his very first public event, marching in solidarity with a contingent of gay and lesbian police officers and prison guards in the Pride Parade. The message that I'm trying to uh, send is that uh, policing services uh, in this community will be provided in a fair and equitable manner to all segments of, of the community, regardless of uh, religion, uh, color, country of origin or sexual orientation. Well, uh, I, I'm here and apparently it's apparently quite unique that uh, I would be here with the chief of police. Uh, I don't think he, he or I think it's such a unique thing. I just think it's another wonderful event in the city of Vancouver and we're very pleased to be participating with it. However, it's not just Chambers' presence that had the crowd cheering. Also for the first time, officers in uniform and in police cars were in the parade and not just policing it. Organizers say Chambers' participation is all the more remarkable when you consider who was invited and did not show up. The firefighters, the ambulance attendants, the Mounties. Um, there have always been gay and lesbian people working in these agencies, but being out and uh, having the forces be accepting of, of gay and lesbian uh, officers is something brand new. At the end of the day, the parade was declared a success. Great weather, historic guests, and a crowd estimated at about 80,000 people, twice the size of last year's Pride Parade. Margot Harper, CBC News, Vancouver.